This hands-on video is part of a video course called Understanding Docker and Docker Compose 100% hands-on. If you like this video, check out the link in the description below. For more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up. Now, let's go. Let's talk about the real-world example where we are going to have a container which hosts a PHP and then we will see how we can actually use PHP files inside this container and what happens if we're mounting versus not mounting any volumes. Let's start with a simple docker run uh, command and then I will talk about it and we'll run some tests. So I'm going to run docker run again interactive and you're going to remove the container and then we are going to give it a name and you just call it my running script and here we are going to use an image uh, called PHP and we are using a specific tag of that image which is 7.2 CLI for the command line interface and there we are going to run the bin bash oh, and then it cannot find this image so it's going to download it from docker hub which is our image repository and once downloading is completed then it's running the image download is completed and I am in my container now. So you can see I'm inside my container. I can do LS and I see a Linux file system. Now I can do different things because I'm actually inside a container which is pre-configured with PHP running. So I can do PHP-M to see the modules that are installed or PHP-I to see the PHP configuration. Now that is not really interesting. Uh, what is more interesting is if I'm going to use any files and I'm going to my home directory to make some things easier and I have nothing in there, there is no file in there and I'm going to actually place in there a PHP file which just outputs some test text and I'm going to pipe this into an index.php uh, file. So now I have an index.php file and the content of my index.php file is echo test text. And if I'm going to run this with PHP, then PHP will interpret this file and it will output me test text. Could also be hello world. It's the most simplistic thing that you can do with PHP. Now, let me exit the container. And when I exit the container, then the container is not running anymore, but it's also not in uh, our stopped container list. So that means the container is removed. Why is that? Because when we were running the container, we used the RM uh, parameter here to start Docker, and that will automatically remove the container. That also means that every file inside my container is also gone. So I cannot just restart the container and, and keep working with the same file. This is where volume mounting really comes in handy and is basically the basics of all development environments. So when we are talking about volume mounting, then I'm talking about something like this. Docker run uh, interactive. And then I can remove my container again if I want to. But here I'm going to mount the current directory I'm in right now to the directory, my files on my container. And I give it again a name, which is my running script and then I say again uh, php 7.2 slash cli cli and then bin bash so I'm going to start this container now and then exactly in the same environment I'm in my container and I see the additional my files directory now obviously it is a different directory as my root directory I could also mount uh, this current directory on the host into my root directory, but I decided to mount it into a directory called my files, which is automatically available then inside my container. And if I'm going to write the exact same echo command here inside uh, my my files directory, so let me just write this test text slash n to index.php, and I'm going to exit my container. Let me just run this so that we know that it's working. 
I'm going to exit my container and I'm back at my Windows prompt. So this is very important to understand, back at my host. And if I'm going to do a deer here, directory listing, then I have my index PHP here. Why? Because mounting my current directory inside my my files directory in my container and then writing a file inside my my files directory is actually writing the file inside the host directory. That also means that I can rerun my container with the same uh, directory mounted and if I go back to my files then my PHP uh, file is still here. Okay, let me exit the container and then uh, we are going to add one more flag which we learned in the previous lecture which is if I add in the working directory to my files then you see when I open my container, then I'm already in the right directory here. So that means I can run php index.php uh, without ever cd'ing into the right directory, which also means that if I don't even start my, bin, my, my bash, then I can just directly do php index.php and it will output me test text, uh, opening the container, running the whole php image as a container, and then PHP index uh, PHP outputting the thing and then removing the container again and everything is nice and tidy in my container list. All right, that's it for this lecture. In the next one, we are talking about working with servers, logs and port forwarding in Talker. So definitely stay tuned. And again, you will find the whole run through through this lecture attached to this lecture as a resource download.